Okay, so I guess like a lot of people, I've been using Zoom and the like to communicate with others around me. Now I have this really nice Fuji X-T3 camera here. Um, I can't seem to use it. I can't connect it to Zoom. And I've tried my iPhone as well, when it works on my iPhone, but not if I want to use my Mac and a big screen and my nice camera to set it up with. So I thought there must be a way around this. Uh, I can tether it with my USB cable into Capture One, but I can't seem to make the video work with Zoom. So after a bit of digging around the internet, I found that I can download a couple of things. Uh, one of which is Xcode, which is downloaded through Terminal App, and I'll explain that in dis the descriptions below. And then you have to remove the signature authorization within Zoom or the application you want to use your webcam with. Um, that will also fix it for a lot of other third-party webcams, I believe. So I've gone ahead and done that as well, and it worked really well. So I have my Fuji camera set up as my webcam now. So that's been pretty spectacular, uh, all through my USB cable. And I'd just like to show you how that works. It's pretty straightforward. You just need to download a couple of apps. One is called Camera Live, one is called Cam Twist. So Camera Live takes the feed from the USB from, uh, from the camera and puts it into the computer. You can then siphon that feed out into Cam Twist. Now Cam Twist will allow you then to be selectable as a feed into Zoom. So it's a little bit piggybacky, but it works really well. I've got full HD going. Now I've already installed Xcode in my machine. So in terminal, you just need to type in one line of code and you can remove the signature authorization in Zoom and allow the third party webcam use. Again, in the details below how to do that, you just copy and paste into terminal, works a treat. So software was installed, just click on that. Now the next thing you want to do in terminal app is type in this command. And don't worry, I'll have those in the description below. You can just copy and paste them in. Uh, so you can see here it's pseudo code sign, remove signature, the application zoom. So what's that is doing? It's telling uh, the Mac to uh, just remove the signature authorization from a trusted developer. And that will allow third party webcam support in zoom. So just hit enter on that one. You'll have to type in your password and uh, that's done. And now uh, zoom will be able to see any third party camera you have in there. Yeah. So if I go into video now, okay, you can access my camera. You can see, I can see Cam Twist. And that will allow me then to use Cam Twist. So there's a couple of settings you need to change on the camera to make it work. Uh, you need to make sure your drive mode is not set to video. That just won't work, which is a little counterintuitive, I know, but if you select it into S for standard shooting mode, then that's gonna give you your best shot. Uh, you're really taking a tethered feed from the camera using a USB cable. So I simply connect my USB cable uh, into its USB socket and we are good to go. The other end connected into the computer, obviously. So just like you'd normally tether into something like Capture One Pro, uh, you can now use that tethering feed uh, and allow the programs that are in the computer to capture that feed and put it down into an app like Zoom or OBS uh, for YouTube Live if you want. One more thing to set as I couldn't get autofocus to work, is make sure the switch here is set to M for manual focus. Uh, if you leave it in S, you're just not going to be able to focus anything at all. So that's kind of important. Uh, I have a Fuji lens here, a 16 to 55, 2.8 on it, set to F4. If you have a manual lens, that's even better because you'll have aperture control as well as focus control, uh, which can be very useful. But other than that, you're pretty much ready to go. So set your camera in normal sales mode, plug in your tether cable, set your aperture, put it on manual mode, and then we go to the computer and make sure our settings are right then, and we're online with a decent webcam. What you need to have running is an app called Camera Live, and that basically takes the USB feed from your X-T3, and you can see there it's marked as active. Now, that will create that USB feed into the computer. Now, to capture that, I need to have an app called Cam Twist running, and Cam Twist will be able to siphon the feed from Cam Live, and then I'll be able to select that feed in Zoom. So bear with me because there's a couple of settings we want to set up in Cam Twist. Out of the box, you get 15 frames per second and a pretty low resolution. So if you want to go into Cam Twist preferences here, and you'll see the frame right there, just third in, put it into whatever you want. I'm using 30 here and video size. You can change that up to custom or you can leave it at 1280 by 720. I'm gonna leave mine in HD, so I'll leave that set there. Uh, it does note that after changing the setting, you must restart Cam Twist and your video stream for it to take effect. So 
bear that in mind. So you can just close that off. Now to select the camera live feed into camera twist, you just double click on siphon here. And then on the siphon server, you connect to camera live. And now if we start to zoom up, what do we get in our options, in our video, we've got cam twist there. Whereas we just had our FaceTime HD camera, which I have mine locked off. And then we've got cam twist. So there we are. So I can go in and I can start a meeting and I'm straight away in there. I have focus control on my camera up here and I haven't locked off my tripod. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let me just lock that off. Okay. Uh, I've got focus uh, zoom as well and focus, but I don't have aperture control. So you really need to set that for what you want right there and then. But I think that's a pretty good start. So you're using your camera, your Fuji camera as a webcam. There you go. So it works pretty well, as you can see. I'll move around and I think that's pretty good. So we can quit out of that. Pretty straightforward. Three apps to download. Pretty straightforward. You've got your camera live app to download and then you siphon that feed into cam twist and then you can set that up into whatever feed you want and you get high resolution. Uh, well, enough high resolution for a web meeting anyway. So that's how you get your Fuji camera to work as a webcam without a capture card.